Billy D. Cascade Hoopstock. Look who I found uh, up here at Warner Pacific. Lance Von Hoed, Athletic Director, Jessup University. How's things going? Well, fantastic. We had a great first half. Uh, boys came ready to play and uh, built a nice halftime lead. So look to see what they do in the second yeah, half. Yeah, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting the 20 point Jessup lead at half. They're playing really well right now, aren't they? Yeah, I think getting away from home and getting a chance to get on the road, be secluded with just the team. Coach is finding his way and getting his feet on the ground and they're starting to understand his message. Add Ty Artist to the mix and the team's just going to yeah. get better and better. You know, I do want to ask you about Jessup Athletics, but you got to talk about the job Mark Darnell is doing. I, I think he's doing a great job there, Jessup. I'm going to tell you what, you know, the, the, the way that that guy works and how much he cares, it's it's a perfect recipe for success. Uh, he, he has the resources. He's got a great roster of guys that care about each other. Um, I think that this team's going to be uh, fantastic come late January, early February, and hopefully we earn our way into March because that's when they can really do some damage. I think it's just almost perfect timing coming to Portland this right before GSAC starts. I'll let the team gel a little bit. Yeah, you know, and Coach brought this to me uh, right when he got the job. He had the opportunity to kind of build out some of the schedule that it wasn't done. And he said, hey, what do you think about this? This would be a great trip to kind of simulate a conference uh, uh, road trip. It'll be right. a chance for us to get a, uh, used to staying in a hotel. And I said, yeah, let's do it. Uh, two very good teams, Cascade teams, teams that uh, we haven't played in the 10 years that, that I was the coach. And he has an opportunity to come up and play two new Cascade teams because I've always played Southern Oregon, Eastern Oregon, and Oregon Tech. Yeah. Um, and so this was a great opportunity to, to check out some of the other teams in the Cascade. Yeah, it's great to see you up here in Portland. Uh, you know, let's talk just about athletics. you got a lot of stuff going on. You're going to be moving to uh, – the, uh, oh, the NC2A, what's the name of the conference? Pac West Conference. The Pac West. Uh, just tell us what's going on with Jessup Athletics right now. And it, it's been just, what a journey, what a ride. Um, we've been growing and getting stronger. Uh, and uh, in that, the opportunity to move into the Pac West was the right move for us. We're excited. A lot of the schools that we were that we went into the GSAC with originally have now moved on to the Pac West, and they're they're they're, they're successful. Vanguard and Menlo are moving with us. Westmont just moved. Obviously, Biola, Concordia, Azusa, uh, Point Loma. You know the list goes on. So it's really kind of the sister schools that uh, we were in the NAIA together, and now we're joining them in the NCAA Division Two. Yeah, there's been quite a realignment in, in the GSAC and in the CalPAC there, CalPAC, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I really got that one down. But there's quite a realignment going on. But, uh, you know, your new role as athletic director, just when I follow, I follow, you know, the, I'll try to follow all the schools, but it just seems to be so much energy within uh, Jessup Athletics. Well, I appreciate that. Um, you know, I've been blessed with the role. Uh, and it's it's been nine years, actually, that I was doing both basketball coach and athletic director. Now I get to have a singular focus and really, really work on supporting all of our coaches, coaching our coaches, and providing them with the resources they need so that we can be national contenders across all of our sports. Uh, and, uh, you know, the NCAA move is, is requiring a lot from a compliance and a regulatory right. sta uh, uh, standpoint. And so now I, I have the ability to turn my attention to that. Um, I am missing watching a little game film. I am missing the guys in practice. But but uh, all for a good purpose. And, and I, I really believe that this is uh, where God's placed me. So you're an emotional guy. You and I have talked about that before. How hard is it to sit there on those sidelines? You know, actually, it's not hard because it is entrusted to uh, uh, the right guy in Coach Darnell, right? Mark's doing an amazing job. Travis Timmons, who was my assistant the last yeah. couple of years, has stayed on on staff. He's doing an amazing job. We added John Bauer here. And then my volunteer assistant, uh, Mike Gervasoni, is with the team as well. So there's still a strong connection. And, and I see what they're doing and how hard they're working, and I couldn't be prouder. Lance, I think you're doing a great job. The Warriors are doing pretty well here at halftime. We'll see if they can hang on. Hope so. Lance Von Vogt yeah. at Jessup Athletics. Thanks, Lance. Thank you.